Hi everyone, today we will be solving the second problem from the lead code pattern website in the two pointer category, uh, which is this problem called two sum. So let's start with understanding the problem statement first. Given an array of integer nums and an integer target, return the indices of the numbers such that their sum is equal to the target. Now, given this example, where the input is 2, 7, 11 and 15, and we are also given a target which is 18 we can see that the number at index 1 which is 7 and the number at index 2 which is 11 sums up to 18 so we have to return the indices that is 1 and 2 here so yeah the problem statement is uh, quite simple and note one thing that we are returning the indices and note the value itself so let's start with the intuition this is the given input 2, 7, 11 and 15 and let me write the indexes here 0, 1, 2 and 3 and the target is given as 18 so we have to find two numbers whose sum is 18 right so the first solution that comes to my mind is a brute force solution where we pick any element and then corresponding to this we try with every other element so for 2 we will try 2 plus 7 then we will try 2 plus 11 then we will try similarly 2 plus 15 right and then we will pick up 7 and with 7 we will try 11 and then we will try 15 then with 11 we will try 15 right so this approach will be uh, big o of n square since for uh, n square since for every element we are traversing all the other elements or the elements that are ahead of itself right so this is the simple brute force solution now let's see how we can optimize this so if you want to reduce uh, this time complexity let's try to sort the array and see if that helps so if i try to see this array is uh, sorted itself so after sorting we can see that all the bigger elements reside on the right hand side so this side we have the bigger elements and on the left hand side uh, we have the smaller elements right so using this uh, we can think of some solution so if we again write it here 11 and 15 we can keep a uh, one pointer right here uh, which will be left pointer i will call it and we will keep a right pointer here now it will be clear why i'm keeping these pointers so since this is the largest element and these uh, this is the smallest element now if we try to compute the sum of these elements let's say current is equal to 2 plus 15 which is equal to 17 and the given target is 18 so we can see that 17 is less than 18 that means we have to increase uh, the elements so if we let's say we are moving the right pointer to the left hand side that will decrease the overall sum in the next iteration so we don't want to do that uh, and if we move the left pointer ahead here then we can see we are increasing the sum so we will do that we will do left pointer plus plus now again we will compute the sum for left pointer and right pointer so 7 plus 15 which will be equal to 22 and the target was 18 so since uh, this current sum is greater than target what we want to do we want to reduce the sum in the next iteration so we saw that for reducing the sum in the next iteration we move the right pointer to the left hand side right so next time the right pointer will be pointing to 11 and left will be pointing to 7 so 7 plus 11 will be equal to 18 and it will be equal to the target so this means we have found uh, the solution right so we want to return this index 0 1 2 and 3 so we will return 1 and 2 now one thing to note here is uh, initially i said we are sorting this array so luckily we have the array sorted here but if the array was not sorted uh, what we had to do is something different since sorting uh, all these elements will reset the index right will change the index so let's say we had 7 to 11 and 15 in that case the sorted one if we apply the sort function here will be 2 7 11 and 15 so in that case we have lost the initial indexes right so that will be one problem so this problem we will be seeing how we can solve in the code itself right so i think the intuition is quite clear and if we talk about the time complexity so in order to sort we have n log n time complexity and in the worst case uh, the left and the right pointer movement will take order of n now let's visualize the solution of this problem so this is that same array and we have the target as 18 so we keep a left pointer and a right pointer here now the current sum is uh, 17 2 plus 15 and since the current sum is less than target we move the left pointer ahead again we take a decision since the sum is here 22 15 plus 17 we move the right pointer here then the current sum is 18 so we return 1 and 2 right 
so let's start with the code and note that the code will be given in the description below so if you want to check it out so here i have the function uh, signature and this function signature is taken from the website itself so from lead code i have copied this one so the first thing that we want to do is to solve that problem of uh, index getting reset so like we saw in this case uh, the indexes were getting reset so here 0 1 2 and 3 so two's index got changed and so on right so first we want to solve that problem so in order to solve that problem we need to keep the element and its index initial index itself so we will create a vector of pair of integer and integer so this will keep uh, the element itself and the index now let's rename it something so nums is given we can keep it arr so let's uh, reserve some space for arr so we are not uh, recopying the elements again and again so arr reserve so we will reserve the space for nums dot size since we know we are going to put those many elements now we traverse our initial array i is less than this nums dot size and i plus plus all right and inside arr we push back the so first is the element itself which will be nums of i and second one is the index which will be i right so this will be our vector of pair now we sort this pair so arr dot begin and arr dot end so this will maintain the indexes since we have it in pair now we keep two pointer left pointer to zero and the right pointer to the end of the element so that will be size minus one and while the left pointer is less than the right pointer first we compute the sum so in current sum will be equal to uh, arr of left pointer dot so this will be the first element since here the first element is the element itself and the second one is the index so first plus arr of right pointer dot first and now we compare if the current uh, sum is equal to target then we return the indexes so arr of left pointer dot second so second one has the index and arr of right pointer of second right so we return these indexes otherwise if the current sum is greater than the target so in that case we will move the right pointer and if the current sum is less than the target then we will move the left pointer at the end we can return like minus one and minus one so one thing to note here uh, in the question it is given that there is exactly one solution so i can just put an assert here assert false that means uh, this condition should never reach that's why i'm put, uh, putting a assert false so i think this is this looks good so we can try submitting this let me copy it and paste it right here let's try to run it if there are any syntax errors yeah so we are missing a semicolon right here yeah so this is running fine on this sample input let's try to submit the code so we can see uh, we are faster than the 89.79 percent solution so i think the solution is good so this was it for the video if this uh, video helped you do it the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you